destinations while you relax in the hot springs. Mm -hmm. So I really like that experience in Coron. Whenever I watch Travel Time, I gain new insight on where I want to go and what I want to see. And whenever you feature destinations, I see what's there for me. And it helps me in planning my trip. And it helps me in seeing what I want to experience also. Traveling in the Philippines has made me more proud to be a Filipino. My experiences in traveling in the Philippines, I bring it whenever I also travel abroad. Mm -hmm. And it makes me speak well of my country to other people. And I guess that's my contribution as a Filipino to our country, is to help people come in and appreciate the beauty of the Philippines as well. And the overwhelming favorite destination, according to our informal survey, that Wendy Malare says is a testament to nature's magnificent craftsmanship, left Almir Bernabe almost speechless and just saying it's truly the best and convince Wang that it deserved to be recognized as one of the seven wonders of nature, the Puerto Princesa Underground River. The Underground River is a natural wonder, featuring 8.2 kilometers of navigable underground river, reputed to be the longest in the world, that winds through a spectacular cave complex before emptying out into the South China Sea. Natural beauty abounds in the Puerto Princesa Underground River National Park. From rock formations you pass by from the Sabang Wharf, to the powder shores that is the gateway to the park, to the cave entrance, where the river water and the sea merge in a rare ecological wonder. Very common po ang mga hayop dito tulad ng bats at dalawang uri ng swiftlets. Sa paniki po meron tayong walong iba't ibang species. Ang maganda roon, dalawa rito ay endemic sa Pilipinas. Yung sa ating bansa lang makikita. And aside from these mga cave dwellers, may mga formations na kakaiba rin po sa loob ng cave. And recently nga, may nakitang mga crystals formations na sa tansya ng mga geologists ay eh, baka maglilid pa ito sa isa pang panibagong mineral na pwedeng makikita lang sa ating underground river. The deepest section of the cave is at its opening about 40 feet. Entering the cave, the first thing that tourists will meet is the strong scent that comes from the guano and from the urine of bats that live inside. The cave is pitch black and only lit by the searchlight provided by each boat. The swallows frequently fly around the cave using echolocation to guide their flight. As the boatman whom guide paddles through the river, he directs the person who handles the searchlight to point to certain rock formations that he imaginatively describes. Different figures are formed by the minerals that come from above the cave where rainwater seeps through crevices. The first major section that is passed is the cathedral. This section has the highest ceiling that rises up about 65 meters, making it look like a grand cathedral.
next section is what both men describe as the vegetable section. Here, different vegetables are formed by the silt and minerals. And then, the water flows through a straight section that looks like a tunnel of a highway. This section is called by the boatmen as EDSA, in reference to the major highway in Manila that is full of flyovers and tunnels. Hindi po siya accessible by boat, the whole 8 kilometer. Kalahati lang po ang kaya natin pasukin ng napakadali for a paddle boat. Pero beyond nung kalahati na yun, meron pa siyang river, kaya lang may mga party pong napaka-narrow niya na or masyado pang mababa ang tubig. Pwede siyang gawin by special boat like rubber boat or kayak. Curved, sharp, pillar-shaped or egg-shaped, the variety of formations present inside the underground river illustrates the variety of minerals and crystals present inside the cave, some of which may possibly be found nowhere else on Earth. Aside from the millions of bats and swallows, there are translucent marine crabs, reptiles, spiders, and other species of animals not known to be cave dwellers, but have astonishingly adapted to living in this amazingly balanced ecosystem. They've also found a mystery, a sort of bat graveyard, a section of a cave where bat bones are found, but where no living bats exist. And the latest find here, the 20 million year old remains of a species of sea cow or dugong, perfectly preserved. A one in a billion find, and it is there for us to see inside the Puerto Princesa underground river. A fact that should make every Cuyunon and Filipino proud. Thank you for all your questions and interest. And to those not yet our friend, search for Travel Time with Susan Calo Medina at Facebook and like us. And now, one last question from Garay. How would you convince a foreigner to visit our country? By showing him some Travel Time episodes, don't you think? Thank you very much. I'm Susan Calo Medina. Huwag magindayuhan sa sariling bayan.